Hey everybody, I'm Mike Iaconelli. Welcome to a brand new in the shop, but we're doing it on the lake. You know, it's cold, it's winter time, it's uh, post frontal conditions, a front just passed through, and this is the perfect time to go out and throw an Alabama rig. Uh, a rig, it's also called an umbrella rig. Some people call it a crab trap. Whatever you want to call this thing, it's an unbelievable way to catch bass when all else fails, especially when it's cold. Late fall, winter, pre-spawn, it's the perfect time to throw an A-Rig. The other thing an A-Rig is great for is suspended fish. And you hear me all the time talk about how hard it is to catch fish that are suspended. Well, this Alabama rig, A-Rig, will catch them when they're suspended. Um, you know, there's a lot of reasons this thing's so good. When you look at it, your first thought might be, there's too many wires, there's too much metal, there's too many jigs, it's too confusing for the fish. But honestly, the A-Rig mesmerizes the fish. That's the best word I can use is mesmerizes because it imitates a small school of bait fish shad, shiners, owlwife, herring. It's a great imitator of a little school of bait. So it mesmerizes the fish. Um, but I want to go over with you my basic setup, the jig heads I use, the baits I use, how I rig it, and then finally I'm going to talk about the rod, the reel, and the line. Um, let's start with the rig itself. You know, the first thing is there's a lot of A-rigs out there but for sure, I've tried a lot of them. These are my favorites. And these are A-Rigs by Shane's Baits. Um, and these are two of my favorites. When I want a really big A-Rig with a lot of baits and really mimic a giant school of bait fish, the original Blades of Glory is what I throw. But I gotta be honest, my favorite, especially being a guy from the Northeast, lives in New Jersey, a lot of the bait fish here are in smaller pods. And because of that, this is my absolute favorite. It's the mini Blades of Glory. And Shane, it's, Shane's bait's nice too because it comes in these little tubes. It's so easy for me to carry a bunch of them just in a Ziploc. And when you pop this thing out of the tube, you're gonna see that this mini Blades of Glory is, is compacted to fit in that tube. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread the wires out. And if you look at this one, it's got five wires. The, the mini blades of glory is a five wire. And all you do is just bend them out by hand. I start on the outside wires, I go one by one, and I'm gonna bend these things out. And I wanna get them so that they're almost in a, a star pattern away from that main wire, that lead wire. That's that middle wire, I want that one to be on its own. I want these other arms to be away with it. You know, the other cool thing about the Shane's rig is that these wires and arms are interchangeable. So if you go out and you clobber them, you catch a hundred fish, which can happen on an A-rig, and you have a wire that breaks, they sell replacement arms and wires so you can replace all these arms and wires real easy. All you have to do is unscrew this little top piece. It almost looks like a bullet. Pull that broken wire off, put the new one on. All right, so there you have it. It's a Shane's Mini Blades of Glory. The next thing we're gonna talk about are the jig heads, the jig heads. And man, there's a lot of jig heads out there. Here's the main thing I wanna tell you about the jig head. Pick a jig head with a 90 degree line tie, a line tie that's 90 degrees. That's gonna allow that swim bait to run true have the most natural action in the water, okay? My two favorite jig head styles are, they're both VMC. Uh, the VMC Finesse Half Moon Head is a great one. And I really, really like the VMC Dart Head, uh, which, is, which is another good one. So your jig heads, on size, a lot of it depends on the depth of water you're fishing. But on this Mini Blades of Glory, I really love the 16th ounce all the way up to the quarter ounce for extremely deep water. 
But today we're going to be fishing anywhere from 10 to 20 foot. So for that range, I'm going with the eighth ounce jig heads today. Eighth ounce jig heads. And man, great thing about the Shane's rig is just all little snaps, uh, just little cross lock snaps. So you undo it, you get your 90 degree line tie jig head, thread it through the wire, close your clip back up. I'm going to do it on every one. Go to the next wire, undo that snap, put that 90 degree jig head, snap it back. I'm going to do it on the next arm. I'm going to go all the way around. And the great thing about this, when you think about it, it's utilizing five eighth ounce heads. So it's not one of those A rigs that's cumbersome and tough to throw. This is basically like throwing a big spinner bait or a giant crank bait or a, or a big single swim bait. It pulls about the same. It's not hard to throw. And we're going to talk about the ride, the reel, and the line in a second. It's nothing out of the ordinary with this Shane's Mini Blades of Glory. Here we go. We got the last one going on that bottom arm, that main arm. And that's such an important one. We're going to talk about that here in a second. But... Uh, that bottom arm is so important. There goes the last jig head, number five. Okay, so we have basically all the terminal tackle ready on that mini Blades of Glory. The next thing are the baits. And my favorite baits are basically tab tail style swim baits. Um, and I'm going to use them from the very small ones, like a 2.8, all the way up to the bigger tab style tab tail style swim baits that are four eight even over five inches the main thing for the size of the bait that you pick is the size of the forage know your forage match the hatch so match the hatch in color but also match the hatch in size the lake we're fishing today it's clean water but a lot of the bait are really small emerald emerald shiners uh, shore minnows the bait's real small. So we're going to go with the 2.8 today. Um, you know, bait fish color match. Again, these are emeralds. So silvery, a little bit of shine to them. Uh, today, let's, we're going to go with the 2.8 rainbow shad. And this is a Berkeley power bait power swimmer. Okay. It's pow Berkeley power bait power swimmer. So we're going to pull these things out. They come in a little clam here. And I'm going to pull out four baits, not five, four baits, okay? I'm going to tell you why in a second. But if you look at that power swimmer, it's just pretty. It look like a bait, looks like a bait fish, bait fish profile. It's got that little tab tail, has tremendous swimming action, and it's a little tighter than other brands, which in cold water is really good. So the main thing, when I thread these two eights on here, the main thing I want to remember is that I want that tail going the opposite way. The bend of the tail, I want the opposite way of the bend of the hook. And that's going to let that tail have maximum action on the retrieve. Another good way to remember is you always want the dark side of the swim bait facing toward the top. So it's just a simple thread, and I'm going to start with the four outside arms. So critical, okay? So here we go, Rainbow Shad 2.8 power swimmer just threading it on there goes my first one vmc's have a nice uh bait keeper on there number two remember tab tail the opposite way of the bend of the hook or the dark side of the swim bait facing up there's number two look at that okay remember all outside wires first number three Thread in that thing on there. Bend in the tail the opposite way, the bend of the hook. Dark side up. And here's number four on the outside wires with this color, which is the rainbow shad. There we go. Okay, so now we've got four baits rigged and we've got one left. This is such a key part of this process is I left that open on purpose. And when we're fishing an Alabama rig, whether it's the regular Blades of Glory, the Mini, whatever brand you like, 
I always want you to put a little different swim bait on that bottom hook. And if you look at it, it's longer. It's going to be your focal point. I want you to use a little bit different bait. You can go up to a 3-2 or a 3-8, make it a little bigger. Or what I really, really like to do is go to a little bit different color. And so for this middle one, I'm going to go to a sexy shad, which is a little bit darker, has a little bit more chartreuse in the bait. It's that same size. This is a 2.8 Power Swimmer by Berkeley Power Bait. But look at it. It looks completely different. And I'm going to get that different colored bait, or it could be a different size, in this case, different color bait. And I'm going to thread it right on that back middle hook. And the reason we're going to do that is because that is such a, a focal point, we want that bait to stand out a little bit. We want it to be, look a little different in the water. And that little variation in color, it almost is subtle, but it provides a better hookup ratio. They're going to eat it better when that middle one is a little different. All right, so there's the rig. We're ready to tie it on. Let me let me uh, talk a little bit about the rig and then we're going to get this bait tied on. The great thing about the mini Blades of Glory, and look at it. I don't have to reel it in the water yet. It looks like a little school bait fish. The great thing about that mini Blades of Glory, you don't have to use a musky rod. You don't have to use a giant flipping stick. You can use your regular rods that you already have. My favorite would be a 7, 6 to 8 foot medium heavy action rod. My absolute favorite is this one right here. This is the Abu Garcia 7.6 medium heavy power series rod. So this is a graphite rod. And this 7.6 uh, Ike series Abu rod, it's a medium heavy, but it's got a little bit of tip. And that helps me load the bait. I got tons of backbone, 70% of the rod's backbone, but 30% of that rod is tippy. And that's going to let me load it up and make long cast. It's also going to give me a little absorption when I set the hook. With the reel, the main thing is you want a high capacity reel that holds a lot of line. You're going to be able to make bomb casts with this. So you want a high capacity reel. Of course, I'm using the Abu Garcia, the Revo Ike, and I really, really like to use it in a slower ratio, a 6-6 six, six to 1 when the fish are lethargic. When the fish are biting and you have to burn it, Step up to the eight to one, but when it's lethargic like what we have today, six, six to one gear ratio. Last but not least, the line. And once again, because it's a smaller A-rig, mini blades of glory, we don't need any special kind of line. We don't have to use giant braid or rope. We can use regular fluorocarbon. And my favorite is 15 to 20 pound Berkeley trialing 100% fluorocarbon. Today we're going with 17. It's the perfect size. The great thing about fluorocarbon is it's invisible. It has a little bit lower stretch than mono, but here's the best thing about fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is dense. And what a dense line means on a rig is it's going to sink better and have better action. I'm going to tie an improved clinch knot. Do that for you again real quick. And if you look, that Blades of Glory just has a little two-way swivel. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six times. It created a loop at the bottom. I'm going to go through that loop. And then when I do that, I've got another loop between my two fingers. I'm going to double it back through that. Grab the line with my teeth and wet it. Cinch it down. That's the improved clinch knot. And there's the A-Rig umbrella rig, mini blades of glory. Um, one last thing, I'm going to tweak these arms out just a little bit more. And again, I want them off of that main wire. I want it looking like a natural school bait fish. And that looks about right. Five wires, four blades, five eighth ounce VMC heads, 2.8 Berkeley power swimmers, and we're ready to go. Listen, if you fish in clear, cold water, late fall, winter, pre-spawn, the fish are suspended, try a Shane's mini, blade, mini Blades of Glory, you're going to catch a lot of fish. Hey, if you like this in the shop on the lake, stop for a second, hit that subscribe button right down there. We're going to have more great tip videos 
coming weekly. All right, enough of this talking. Let's get on the water.